The last time these two were in the ring at the same time, they tore this damn building apart, but tonight, it's anything goes, and there must be a winner. The legendary Paul Atlas assigned this contest. The special enforcer referee to assure that there is a clear winner here. As these two behemoths, these two monsters battle it out. And Brohemoth, that giant mass sent over the top. Sent over the top rope. And it looks like and on the rampway there, our back in the screen. Champion. Back of your screen, Patrick Hayes just took a seat. Wants an up close view as to who will be his next challenger. You know, that's a very smart decision by our champion. You want to make sure that you know all of the stops that your opponent is going to pull. And the Beast Man's moving furniture, and this capacity jam packed crowd is taking a run for it.
down there trying to, to save his life and avoid all the flying objects. And Beastman just slammed Brohemoth against that wall. It looks like they actually made a hole. The body of Brohemoth has literally dented the wall. And Beastman is in a garbage can. Not Beastman, Brohemoth. I, you know, I'm so out of sorts. I'm so damn nervous. There's so much commotion going on. They are fighting amongst the crowd. And our security and Paul Atlas, our guest referee, is trying to contain this. They are tearing this damn building apart. I mean, literally, they put a damn hole in the wall. And now we're going on to the bleachers. What, what the hell are they going to do? And it looks like Paul Atlas is actually advising against this. You can't reason with Beast Man. Oh, look out! Beast Man into the table. Prohim is taking a well deserved breather. Look out. Brohemoth has a chair. <clears throat> I'm losing my damn voice. That's what's happening. Brohemoth just took that chair over Beastman's back. And fans are scattering everywhere. This is pure mayhem. They're slamming each other off the tables, fighting behind the bleachers. And our security and guest referee Paul Atlas are just trying to make sure that nobody gets hurt. And it looks like Beastman has a hold of Brohemoth right now. He's dragging him across the back of the arena. Uh, back this is, a, this is a war. This is more than a war. This is madness. We've got a war. We've got a war at the battlegrounds. Where the hell are they going? It looks like Beastman just dragged Brohemoth into the bathroom. I don't know what's going on, Tim. I don't want to know what's going on. I don't know. I don't want to know. Beastman closed the door and Paul Atlas can't even get to them. Who knows what's going on behind that door, Tim? Well, if there's a pinfall in the bathroom, I don't know how we're counting. And Brohemoth coming out face full of sanitary napkins. Some things are better left unsaid. How did Beastman get a small hammer? They may destroy this damn building. I think they might. We're going to have some doors busted open here or something. Come on, bro. And bro, he made the beast man back in that corner. We're going to let the images of uh, Mike Sorg tell the story here because I don't know where the hell they just went.
This is one of the damnedest fights I've ever seen. This could be very dangerous right here. There what do you mean go. it could be dangerous? It is dangerous. I know this is fight society, but damn it, this is crazy. Well, it looks like Beastman is taking advantage of the time that Rohemoth is on his summit. He's actually... No, 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 look out! Oh, no. Table suplex. That table bouncing off the skull of Rohemoth. Choke out Brohemoth, Beastman wins this matchup. Paul Atlas now getting in the way of Beastman. He just took that bone from him. And it looks like Paul Atlas is getting involved. Brohemoth tried rolling him up, but he only got a two count. And somehow this thing has coincidentally got back in the ring. Trust me, these guys have no plans of fighting in the ring. They may not have had plans to, but it looks like that's where it's ending up. And Brohemoth has a chair now. Look out! Oh. You heard that shot. I actually feel safe because they're in the ring and we're up here. Rohemoth has that chair again. And if you're Patrick Hayes, you're watching this, thinking that one of these guys is next for the championship. I can't even imagine what's going to be going through the champion's head right now as he's watching the two number one contenders decimate each other in and outside of the ring. Man fighting back here. And Brohemoth with a reversal launching him into that chair that he had placed in the corner. Hayes looks as stunned as the rest of us. It seems like Brohemoth might actually have the upper hand right now as Beastman is still on the floor outside of the ring. are lost in a sea of humanity. Fans are standing in the battlegrounds. It looks like Brokeman was not doing something wise. He helped these men up before launching him into that apron. But Beastman got the advantage again, and oh, a vicious strike to the face of Brohemoth. And finally, they're going to make their way back into the ring, which is a total coincidence because they'll fight anywhere. We've seen that. has an advantage at this point. I don't know, Jim. But it looks like it could go either way at this point. And you can hear the audible screams of pain from the beast man. And 
could we finally be seeing a chink in the armor of the beast man? I don't know, but either way, it looks like the champion Patrick Hayes is taking all of this into consideration as he clutches his championship. Hayes has a little concern on his face, and I don't blame him. In fact, if you're Patrick Hayes, how are you dealing with your next challenger here? I would just be taking it all in. You have to look at every single thing your competitor is doing. And he has that privacy right now where he can see every dirty little detail that these guys will pull out of their boots to try and obtain a win. Beastman trying to work his way back up to a vertical base. Stiff forearm. And too much damage to the back. That is showing you that the game plan of Burohenith is effective. The Beastman went for the slam. Too much damage to the spine. Rohunath have enough gas left in the tank. Who will seize the moment? Who will seize a Fight Society Championship shot? Paul Atlas checking on both men to see if they're still able to compete. Well, they must be able to compete because there must be a winner. Make no mistake about it. This thing will not be over until we have a clear number one contender. Choke Beast Man out. Beast Man able to work himself into a sitting position, trying to find some kind of energy to break that hole. And keep in mind, right now, I don't, I don't know, it looks like he's fading, Jim. Beast Man has to carry Bohemian's weight. This could be it. Well, if Beastman has some energy left, will it be enough? You can hear those shots. And you heard that too. Virtual stalemate here. The first man of the theme of definitive advantage at the conclusion of this contest. Well, it looks like it could be either one of them at this point. They're both fighting to try and get to their feet. Both on their knees. It looks like they just got up at the same time. It doesn't look like that. It is that. What the hell is it going to take to find a winner here? And it's looking like Rohemoth is throwing everything he can at Beastman, but it's not knocking him back down. Oh, and they both duck. And a big mid ring collision! And Rohemoth escapes.
Not enough. Just enough time to lock in his Bowser Bomb and hook the leg. 